According to statistics, the number of smartphone users in the United States in 2022 is 301 million. And in 2023, that number will go up to 305 million. The following year, 308 million. And in 2025, that number will be 311 million smartphone users in the United States. This right here is how you can make $100,000 in profit a year. Now, $100,000 a year can definitely change a lot of people's lives. Let's do some simple math. Let's say if you repair five cell phones a day at $75 in profit each phone, that will give you $375 in profit per working day. Now let's say out of the possible 30 days you have in a month that you only work 24 days out of the 30 days. $375 times 24 days will give you $9,000 in profit per month. And that means you can take Sundays off. Now if you take $9,000 a month times 12 months in the year, that will give you $108,000 a year just by repairing five cell phones a day. Do you think you can do that? I personally did this while working my business out of a coffee shop. And that's why I think cell phone repair is a great entry level business. You can start a cell phone repair business from scratch and then just build it from there. Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys all the competition that I have directly within walking distance of my store. All the places that repair cell phones. And the reason why I thought of this video is because sometimes I get people that contact me that say cell phone repair looks like a good idea, but there's already one in my area or there's one in the mall or something like that. So for some of you guys that don't know where my store is, my store is right here next door to Hooters in San Diego Mission Valley. And the first one up that I'm gonna show you guys is right here, Best Buy. Best Buy repair cell phones. They repair iPhones and they repair cell phones. All right, so the first one that we're gonna look at is, if you see right here, my store is right the first door that's right there right next door to Hooters right in the hallway and then what do we have right here we have Best Buy Best Buy repair cell phones they repair iPhones and they repair Samsung's I know most of you guys have heard Geek Squad right Geek Squad is who repairs cell phones so literally like 30 to 40 yards away not talking about a mile away 30 to 40 yards away from my store you got a big box cell phone chain, Best Buy, that repairs cell phones. And I've been here for eight and a half years. I've been repairing cell phones in Mission Valley for 10 years, but I've had the storefront for eight and a half years. All right, so that's Best Buy. Let's see how many others we can find. All right, so look, here's my store right here. San Diego Cell Phone Repair. It is right there right next door to the pretty kitty brazilian waxing all right all right san diego cell phone repair best buy all right so we're gonna stay on the same side of the street right here we just go down we're not gonna cross the street i'm just gonna go down on the same side of the street right over here All right, so here's one of my signs right there, San Diego cell phone repair on the bottom right there. So I'm gonna take you to a place that's right down here, and then I'm, I'm gonna go right here in the mall. There's a mall across the street right here. That's Target right there, you can't see the sign, but that right there is called Mission Valley Mall.
All right, so here we are, location number two where they repair cell phones. Staples, Staples repair cell phones. Look how close this is to my store. My store is on this side of the street, but it's just down the block at the end of the block. And usually they have a sign that's out there in the front that says we repair cell phones. The thing is that I've actually talked to the manager in there and he says, he told me that they don't, they hardly repair cell phones. Usually people come in here and they just, they already, they don't get their phones fixed because it's too expensive. They just go to you guys to have them fixed. Because the prices are done by a corporate, this is like a big corporate box store. So they can't control the prices, right? They don't make their individual pricing. It's all up in the, uh, I guess, upper chain, how you, you call it, in the corporate chain. Staples is number two. All right, so where I'm gonna go next is right across the street, right over here, where this, uh, right across the street from this bank right here. Okay, so as you guys can see, I was just right across the street right there at Staples. Now here, we're gonna go to our spot number three within walking distance of my store. You'll see right here. Okay, spot number three right here. The AT&T store. The AT&T store repairs cell phones right here. Yes, they repair cell phones. Now, do you think that people that have AT&T come to my store? Of, of course they do. All right, so we're just driving right past Staples and we're gonna go right down here, right down the street. And you see this complex right here, this apartment complex? This is where I started my phone repair business. The Promenade Mission Valley right there. And you see this kiosk thing right here? That actually used to be a phone repair a phone repair place, but they are no longer there. And I probably the reason is because, once again, they probably don't know how to market themselves. All right, so I'm gonna go down the block, like about three more blocks, and then I'll pick it up from there. All right, so I'm just down the street, and here's place number four, T-Mobile, right there. And there's another store that's over here, or another sh small shop, I'll show you guys right now. In the same exact, in the in this same shopping center right here. So this is what, number four? All right, so we got the T-Mobile store right here, and we're gonna make a left, and we're gonna, we're gonna see another shop right here. All right, here we go, here's another phone repair place. It's called iSquad Repair, right there. iSquad Repair. We repair cell phones. That's like a perfect size too. That's like 200 square feet. My store is a thousand square feet, but trust me guys, you, you don't need a thousand square feet. Uh, I got a good deal on my store. Yeah, you don't need a thousand square feet. Half of that, 500 square feet a retail shop is, is good enough to have a phone repair business. All right, so what is that, five now? So we had what? Best Buy, Staples, the AT&T store, this T-Mobile store, and then the uh, iSquad repair over here, right? So that's five. So now I'm gonna go to the mall. The mall, Mission Valley Mall, which is across the street from my store, we're gonna pick it up from there. All right, so I parked here, as you can see, there's my store right over there next door to Hooters. We are now in Mission Valley Mall right here. So I'm gonna pick it up right when we get past the Target. All right, so we're here in the mall. And what do we have right here? T-Mobile. There's number six. Here's number seven, A to Z wireless. Screen repairs, that's probably like an iPhone 3GS. $40, who the hell would freaking do that, dude? All right, here's a, I don't know what number we're on, number seven or eight, Logic Fix, all right? All right, so in the mall, we counted what? Three phone repair places. 
uh, Logic Fix, A to Z Wireless, and T-Mobile. There used to be a fourth one in there, but I guess they're gone. So where I'm gonna go next is also within walking distance of here. Mission Valley has two malls. They have one mall is called Mission Valley Mall and the other mall is called Fashion Valley Mall. You could literally like walk right, they're literally like one mile away from each other. So we're gonna go to Fashion Valley Mall next. That's where all the nice stores are at. All right, so we're gonna pick it up from here. As you can see, remember there's Hooters, right? Hooters, my store is right here. And we're just gonna go down the street right here to Fashion Valley Mall. Okay, so we already passed two places, the T-Mobile store, and then this like kiosk right here. Now look at right here. Cell phone kiosk, cell phone kiosk, cell phone kiosk. All in a row. Look at that. There's like three of them there. One, two, three. And then the daddy of them all. The freaking Apple store is in the same mall. So you have the Apple store that repairs iPhones and then literally like like 50, like 75 yards away, there is a cell phone repair kiosk everywhere. Okay, so there's a cell phone repair kiosk. There's another one over here. I think this, is, this one's called iGenius or something like that. There's one down there. Look at this, I can't even believe how many, I didn't even know that there was this many in there. That's the, that's one. Here's another one right here. Right there. Let's see, look right here. There. And then right here. That one right there. I think there's another one over here too. Yeah, look, here's another one. This one's a uh, chain, CPR. Like how many is that in this mall? Like five? So yeah, that's, I think that's five now, right? They're right in front of the Better Buzz uh, coffee shop. So Apple store, and then like three or four kiosks, and then a T-Mobile store. So that's like, that's like five places here, just inside this one mall. All right, so I'm back at my store now. So how many did we see? At least 10 places, right? Within walking distance of this store that there's a cell phone repair shop, kiosk, cell phone repair something, right? So let's talk about this first. Why do you think that people come to my store? Eight and a half years at this place, why? I'm pretty sure marketing has something to do with it. When you go on Google and you type in iPhone repair or cell phone repair, there's only a few spots that actually pop up. And why don't you guys try this at home? I'm sure you guys are in different states. Go on your computer and type in cell phone repair in San Diego. See what pops up. See if my store actually pops up. And if it does, that's what you call marketing. I'm telling you guys, knowing how to repair phones isn't good enough it's just not enough you need to know how to market yourself so let's break down and go over the concerns so as you guys know best buy is actually right next door and you guys can check this out for yourself they have their pricing right on the website right on bestbuy.com look how much they charge for an iphone 10 screen repair 279 dollars at the geek squad plus tax that in ca that's like $300. You know how much I charge here in this store? 125. That's a big difference, right? $279 versus $125. And there's plenty there's people that go over there and pay the $279 too. At Best Buy, 
an iPhone 8 screen repair. You know how much they charge? $149. Who the hell wants to pay $149 to repair an iPhone 8? I charge 80 bucks. How about an iPhone 10s Max? This phone came out like what, two years ago at least? Maybe even three. $329 at Best Buy. I charge 150 for the same repair. Now the thing that Best Buy, they charge the exact same thing as the Apple Store. The Apple Store and Best Buy have the exact same pricing. And if you wanna get your back glass repaired at, the, at Best Buy, it says not included. They don't repair that. Not too long ago, I've actually had a girl that came in here in her Best Buy uniform, full on uniform, getting her phone fixed, both the front and the back. And I asked her, cause she's in uniform. I'm like, why didn't she just go get it fixed at your, at your job? She said, because they charge too much. And the Apple store, the Apple store is literally like three blocks away from here. I look at Apple store like a car dealership. Are there people that are only gonna go to the car dealership to get their cars fixed? Yes. There's plenty of people that are gonna be like, I don't want nobody else touching my car. I'm only gonna take it to the dealership. And we all know, us guys know, that the dealership charges freaking way more money than any other place. The dealership is the most expensive place to get your car repaired, right? I've had people that worked in the Apple store, no freaking kidding. People that worked in the Apple store that referred people to come here to get their phones fixed. Because people walk in there, they don't know where to get their phones fixed. They come in there, they don't have Apple Care, and then they wanna get their phone repaired and it's like $300. And they're like, dude, this phone's like three years old. I don't wanna pay $300, right? So then they'll finally say like, hey, there's a place over there, uh, you just go get it fixed over there. How about the mobile repairs? I haven't even included that. I think mobile repairs is a great idea and this is why. The people that come here to San Diego cell phone repair in Mission Valley, they're people that generally live around this area, but it's generally, it's like, maybe like a three to four mile radius around here because people want to get their stuff fixed, whatever's like closest to them, right? So what does a mobile repair offer? They can expand their reach. They can get a customer that's 15 miles away because they can go to them. That's convenience. So mobile repairs, you can expand your reach, your radius, however far you wanna drive. And if you have to drive farther, just charge more for it. How many people work the basic nine to five? Freaking tons of people do that, right? And a lot of those people don't have the time to leave their job to go get their stuff fixed, right? So what do you do? You go to them, it's convenience for them. And then you just charge a little bit more to go over there and fix it at their job. Or maybe some stay at home mom just can't get away from the house. She has kids at home. You go to them and you repair their phone at their place, at their convenience. That's something a lot of retail places don't offer. In the beginning, you can build your business that way. But for me, I was doing it out of a coffee shop for a year and a half and I built my business and my online reputation that way. So when it came to get a store, my online reputation was already built. It was already there. From day one, I already had the store's reputation already going. All my reviews, it just they just went with me, right? But here's the one thing that I've noticed out of all of this. And I hear this time and time again. People wanna support small businesses. I've had people tell me that so many times. I would rather help someone out like you than giving my money to like an Apple store or a billion dollar company. If you wanna learn how to repair cell phones, just watch my YouTube channel. But if you want help, you wanna ask questions, you wanna be part of a group, you wanna learn more about marketing, how I do it, I have a cell phone repair course. And you can find that in down below this video and there's a link in the description. All right, everybody, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.